Hello, everyone. My name is Jack. That's me. I'm currently a third year science student studying computing and biotech. And yeah, today I'll be talking a bit about my journey with food waste, um, especially on the household level. So I guess for me, my Waddle journey started before even becoming a fellow and um, in my own home. Uh, work, live, growing up in a five-membered household with working parents, I saw the sheer amount of food that would just get thrown away. And I would have to see this so much, despite the fact that our fridge is literally always cluttered and clear outs would literally consist of bins and bins of wasted food. Just for a fact, this isn't actually that bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I guess I was really curious to investigate this a bit further and just understand like exactly how take a step back and see how big this issue really was. And I think I was quite shocked to realize that the issue was actually bigger than I had first anticipated. So did you know that 33% of all food produced is wasted? And a majority of this comes at the household level. Moreover, I dare you to imagine this. Imagine throwing away $3,800 worth of just money every single year. That's how much each household wastes every single year. And that makes up to five, over 5% 5 of Australians' medium income. Moreover, the, this problem is even further exacerbated by the fact that um, over 10% of global greenhouse gases actually come from food waste. So we dug, we dug a bit deeper into the problem itself and surveyed over 200 people to find out like, what exactly was causing this. And we found three major factors. So first was a lack of time. So imagine, my, um, in my experience, so busy parents might be working, um, as well as the more increased prevalence of Uber Eats that makes this problem even worse, because you can just get food on demand, and then you can just neglect the food that you might have at home that's slowly starting to get to waste. Moreover, there's a bit of a lack of experience. Yep, so um, for young adults like me, I, I know for myself, I can probably make two things off the top of my head. Um, so like, especially for young adults, students moving out for the first time, we have no idea what to make with what we have. And I think third, thirdly, just the general forgetfulness. Heck, I can't even remember what I had for lunch today. So how can I expect other people to remember exactly what they have in their fridge and when that will go off? So we thought, what if we could create an accessible, easy to use solution to help reduce this food waste from store to stove? <clears throat> Sorry, and this is where Food Keeper comes in. So, and today marks a very exciting first insider look. Imagine you can just simply scan a receipt and then everything will be uploaded into your digital inventory. It uses optical character uh, <clears throat> optical character recognition, like Google Translate, and voila. This allows you to receive expiry reminders as well as um, recipe suggestions to help you make cooking easier and reduce the food waste whilst you're at it. In terms of our current progress, we have already, uh, we've been able to engage with, we've been able to engage with Enactus to engage even more students, and this has really helped speed up our progress as we've recently launched our social media. Um, we've also recently been accepted into the Blackbirds Giants mentoring program, which is similar like a startup incubator, so um, finding mentors. But I think what's the most exciting for us is the, um, the fact that we're nearly ready to start user testing and with our prototype as we can um, continue to develop and personalize even new features such as um, building personalized shopping lists, as well as filters to cater to any dietary requirements that you might have, such as vegan, vegetarian, etc. And I think the long-term vision will be able to create and measure how much, exactly how much waste, as well as how much cost savings we have div diverted from landfill to further incentivize users. Oh, yes, there. Um, yeah. So. But I'd say that, um, oh, 
to keep up to date with us, um, I'd recommend you to follow our social media. Um, I'll post that at the end as well. But I think this has all been possible because of Waddle. So um, the funds for both the idea as well as helping um, me by Udemy courses continue to learn. Before Waddle, I never even thought that this was a possibility. Heck, I've never even touched app development. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to try something new. But as um, I've already touched on, like the funding really helps provide that opportunity for you to just kickstart something new, try something new, learn new skills. And But I think my experience of Waddle is also more than that. I think my main takeaway is really the sense of community that we have here um, with so many different perspectives and coming from so many different disciplines. I'd say personally that I'm quite reserved, so it's really not every day that I get to engage with such a diverse bunch. Um, but despite that, all this um, ambitious uh, of all the projects as well as the drive of everyone to really make a difference um, really pushes me forward despite the hardships of which there are many. Um, yeah, and I think the environment is really there to support you and provide you with even new, newer experiences. Everyone was so happy to support me and helped uh, share out my online surveys. Um, it's also provided me the opportunity to travel to Sydney and attend a climate tech um, event where I networked. Um, yeah, on top of that, seeing some of the projects come to life and even helping with um, some of the workshops really like pushed me harder to go forward with my own project. And last, lastly, um, the retreats provided a bit of space for reflection that I think had been lacking from my everyday life. So it's been really refreshing to be such a part of a community. And yeah, I think this pretty much summarizes my experience so far. And I really hope that's not the end. Thank you for listening.